This is Heather Stone, Executive Editor of New York Department Law Insider. Today, we're going to answer four frequently asked questions about collecting security deposits from rent-stabilized tenants. First question, is there a limit on the amount of the security deposit I can collect from a rent-stabilized tenant? The answer is yes. The Rent Stabilization Code allows you to collect no more than one month's rent as a security deposit. Question two, can I increase the security deposit when the tenant renews his lease and the rent increases? That answer is yes. When you renew a rent stabilized tenant's lease and raise the rent, you can collect an increase in the tenant's security deposit. That's because you're legally entitled to collect one month's rent as a security deposit. So if the tenant's monthly rent increases, you may increase the security deposit to reflect the new higher rent. Note that this applies even though a tenant may be exempt from paying a rent increase because of his or her scree or dree benefit. These tenants would still be required to pay the increased security deposit amount. Question three. A tenant who owes back rent recently moved out of his apartment. May I keep the tenant's security deposit to make up for the rent he owes? Yes. Although security deposits aren't meant to be applied to rent, you may use the security deposit to cover all losses, including damage to the apartment and back rent owed by a tenant. Question four. How must owners store security deposits in New York? The answer, the security deposit must be stored in an interest-bearing account at a banking institution it has a location within the state of New York. The deposit must not be commingled with any personal money of the owner, and the owner must not attempt to use the money from the security deposit as if it is his or her own. For buildings with six or more units, owners must place tenant security deposits in an interest-bearing account. The account must earn interest at a rate that's equivalent to the prevailing interest rate for similar deposits in the area. The owner is allowed to collect an annual fee it's equivalent to 1% of the security deposit to cover administrative costs. The remaining interest earned belongs to the tenant. The tenant has three options for this interest. The owner can hold this money for the tenant in the account until the end of the lease, put this money toward uh, the tenant's rent, or pay this interest in a lump sum to the tenant at the end of each year. Once an owner deposits a tenant's security deposit in a banking institution, the owner must notify the tenant in writing. This written notice must include the name and address of the bank and the total amount of uh, deposited money. For more on complying with various laws and regulations governing the management of New York apartment buildings, go to apartmentlawinsider.com. Thanks for watching.